Welcome to a new video where we're going to dive deep into how to avoid wasting time when learning to code. The journey to becoming a web developer is exciting, yet often filled with challenges. The key to overcoming these hurdles lies in adopting effective learning strategies. Today we will unravel some of these tactics from focusing on one concept at a time to being an active learner and why building stuff matters more than just memorizing facts. So without further ado, let's dive into the first strategy. Our first strategy is simple, but crucial, don't learn things randomly. When we say this, we are stressing the importance of structure in your learning journey. Imagine you're on a road trip without a map, sure, you'll stumble upon some interesting places, but you'll also waste a lot of time getting lost and backtracking. The same principle applies to learning to code. Without a clear path you may find yourself bouncing from one topic to another learning a bit of this, a bit of that. You might feel like you're making progress but in reality, you're just skimming the surface, never diving deep enough to truly understand the concepts. This is where a structured learning path comes into play. A curriculum or a guided learning path provides a roadmap for your journey. It outlines what you need to learn, in what order, and often even includes exercises and projects to apply what you've learned. This way you're not just learning, but understanding and applying your knowledge, which is the key to mastery. Moreover, a structured learning path can save you from the frustration of feeling lost or overwhelmed. It keeps you focused, reduces the risk of burnout, and ultimately makes your learning more efficient and effective. So, how do you find such a path? There are numerous online platforms offering structured coding courses and boot camps. You can also reach out to mentors or experienced developers for guidance. Remember a well-structured learning path can make a world of difference in your coding journey. Moving on to the next strategy, focus on one thing at a time. Now let's talk about a concept that's been making waves in the productivity world, deep work. Deep work is all about immersing yourself completely in a single task or topic shutting out all distractions and really diving into the material. This is where the magic happens. When you're fully engaged in one thing, your brain can make connections, solve problems, and absorb information in a way that just isn't possible when you're trying to juggle multiple tasks. The importance of focusing on one topic or task at a time cannot be overstated, especially when you're learning something as complex as web development. Coding is a craft that requires your full attention. It's not like scrolling through social media or watching TV where you can multitask and still get the gist of what's happening. Every line of code, every function, every algorithm requires your undivided attention. Now you might be thinking, but I'm great at multitasking. Well, here's the thing. Science disagrees. Studies have shown that multitasking can actually reduce productivity by as much as 40%. It's not just about doing less, it's about doing less well. So say no to multitasking and yes to focused, deep work. By concentrating on one thing at a time you'll learn more effectively, retain information better and ultimately become a better web developer. And isn't that the goal? The third strategy we have for you is to be an active learner not a passive one. Now you might be wondering what's the difference? Well passive learning is like sitting in a lecture, absorbing information but not really engaging with it. It's easy sure but it's not effective. Active learning on the other hand is all about interaction and engagement. It's about asking questions, making connections, and applying what you've learned in real-world situations. So why is active learning better, particularly for coding? For one, it improves retention. When you actively engage with the material, you're more likely to remember it. Secondly, it enhances understanding. By applying concepts in various contexts, you get a deeper, more nuanced grasp of them. Now how can you be an active learner? Here are some tips. First, don't just listen or read ask questions. If something isn't clear, seek clarification. Don't be afraid to say, I don't understand. Next, make connections. Try to relate new concepts to things you already know. This helps solidify the new information in your mind. Finally, apply what you learn. Coding isn't just theory. It's very much a hands-on skill. So, write code, debug code, refactor code. The more you do, the more you learn. Remember, the goal isn't just to know, it's to understand. Active learning might require more effort, but the results are definitely worth it. Our fourth strategy is straightforward, don't just memorize stuff. Now you might be thinking, but isn't memorization a part of learning? Yes, but it's not the be-all and end-all. When it comes to coding, understanding the concepts is far more important than rote memorization. Let's put it this way, memorizing a code snippet might help you solve a specific problem, but it won't necessarily equip you with the skills to tackle a different problem. 
On the other hand, if you understand the underlying concepts you can apply them in a variety of situations. You become a problem-solving machine, not just a memory bank of code snippets. But how do we move from memorization to understanding? Well, it starts with asking questions. Don't just accept a piece of code as it is. Ask yourself, why is it written this way? What does each part do? How would it change if I tweak this or that? And then, practice. Put your understanding to the test by coding. The more you code, the more you'll see the concepts in action. You'll start to see patterns, understand how different parts interact, and how they can be manipulated to achieve different outcomes. And lastly, don't rush. It's better to take your time and really understand one concept, than to rush through several without really grasping any of them. Remember, understanding beats memorization every single time. Our final strategy is the most fun. Build stuff. You see, the beauty of coding is that it's not just about understanding the syntax or memorizing the rules. It's about applying that knowledge into creating something tangible. It's like learning a new language. You can study the grammar and vocabulary all day long, but until you start having conversations, you won't truly grasp it. Building projects is like having conversations in the language of code. It allows you to understand the concepts you've learned in a deeper and more meaningful way. It's not just about how a loop works, but why you would use it in a certain situation. It's not just about knowing what a function is, but understanding when and why to use one. And hey, building projects is not only beneficial for understanding and retention, but it also gives you something to show for your efforts. It's one thing to say you understand how to code, but it's another to have a portfolio of projects that showcase your skills. So, what kind of projects should you start with? Well, how about a simple calculator or a to-do list, or maybe a weather app that pulls data from an API? These are all great beginner-friendly projects that will help you apply the concepts you've learned. So get out there and start building. That's where the real learning happens. And there you have it. Five strategies to stop wasting time when you're learning to code. From avoiding random learning, to focusing on one thing at a time, being an active learner, not just memorizing, and the importance of building stuff, all play a pivotal role in effective learning. Each strategy is like a piece of a puzzle. They all fit together to form a well-rounded learning experience. Remember the goal is not just to learn, but to learn effectively. Happy coding!